This week, Beyond Meat revealed its plans to create vegan bacon and steak. Starbucks UK announced the launch of vegan mac and cheese bowls and all-day breakfast burritos. Canada revealed its new food guide, which dropped dairy in favor of more vegan food. And have you heard about Will I M's new vegan wrap with the black eyed peas? All that and more on Live Kindly's weekly vegan news recap. Popular vegan meat brand Beyond Meat has plans to make plant based bacon and steak. In an interview with CNBC, CEO Ethan Brown revealed the company's ongoing interest in the plant based meat market. He said, We want to make bacon, we want to make steak. We want to make the most intricate and beautiful pieces of meat. The brand is a favorite around the globe, with its iconic Bleeding Beyond Burger, a vegan patty made from pea protein that looks, cooks, and tastes like beef. It's just, I'm just waiting for something to remind me that it's not meat. I know, the texture is really good. Beyond Meat's plan to create vegan bacon may help save lives too. In a recent campaign, McDonald's was giving away free bacon. A known carcinogen. Bacon hour means there's free bacon for anybody who goes to McDonald's tomorrow between 4 and 5 p.m. local time. The campaign, dubbed hashtag bacon hour, caught the attention of doctors from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Rallying a group of protesters, PCRM's Dr. Neil Bernard took to the streets to inform the public about bacon's colorectal cancer risks. We're here at a McDonald's in Washington, D.C., where McDonald's is handing out free bacon. Well, if it's not so healthy, people just kind of laugh it off. But the fact of the matter is, bacon and other processed meats cause colorectal cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death. Starbucks launched dairy-free mac and cheese and a vegan all-day tofu breakfast burrito in select U.K. locations. The vegan all-day breakfast burrito contains smoked scrambled tofu and veggies, inside a spinach wrap. The vegan macaroni shows butternut squash, greens, and dairy-free cheese. Starbucks is increasing its vegan options around the world. It offers vegan oatmeal hot pots, lentil wraps, cookies, and vegan cold brew protein shakes. Starbucks also has vegan jackfruit wraps in the UK. Starbucks just introduced a sinless chocolate cake and a double-decker peanut butter and jelly sandwich at locations in the Philippines. The chain also offers a variety of vegan snacks and has released veganizable specialty lattes, like the Halloween Witch's Brew Frappuccino. Green chia seeds and green, can you see that? Green, like, I was gonna say seasoning. And the Christmas tree latte. And they're like, you gotta get the big one. And guess what I did? Health Canada's 2019 food guide sees some major changes with dairy almost scrapped entirely and a bigger focus on plant-based food. The guide was finalized last week after extensive consultations with healthcare professionals, lobbying groups, and agricultural organizations. You see a plate and you, you, you don't see a lot. You see maybe a little bit of chicken, a little bit of fish, but you see a lot of tofu, you see a lot of legumes, nuts, seeds, that kind of thing. Compared with the previous recommendation for four full servings of milk, cheese, yogurt, and other dairy products a day, the new food guide recommends cutting dairy items and in most cases, replacing milk with water. The new plate-centered food guide focuses on health foods, with 50% of the plate filled with fruits and vegetables. It puts more focus on what, when, and how we eat, and less on food groups and servings. A quarter of the plate is dedicated to protein, a newly named category replacing its previous meat and alternatives. Quarter of your plate should be protein and quarter should be grains. So we're making some progress. The remaining quarter is devoted to whole grains, a step forward from previous recommendations that included refined flour products. The Black Eyed Peas new song, Vibrations Part 1, Part 2, sees the popular hip hop group make a return to their roots. But as the lyrics repeat, it's also about bringing a whole new vibe to the music. For Will I Am, the lead member of the Peas, the tune is also about one major lifestyle change, going vegan. The video for the new release has a simple focus on nature. He raps, you eat the yellowtail, I'ma eat the plant-based. The musician initially adopted a plant-based diet for health reasons in 2017. 
And so I really had to get my life in, in check. So, mm. you know, my blood pressure came down I don't without having to take medicine. My cholesterol came down without having to take medicine. He said, after we finished filming The Voice in December, I went home, I became vegan, I biked to work, and I lost 15 pounds. Since then, Will I Am has become more in touch with the ethical side of veganism, as he hints at in Vibrations. Another lyric says, I ain't chewing on no food with two eyes and a face. For those that have a hard time staying focused or like keeping a mental structure to say no to bullshit food, you gotta be gangster about that shit. If you see a lollipop or a cupcake, be gangster, be gang. Vegan actor Natalie Emanuel known for her role as Misande on popular HBO series Game of Thrones, has spoken out against the mistreatment of elephants. During a trip to the south of Thailand, Emmanuel visited Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. Writing about the experience on her Instagram account, the British actor noted that the sanctuary is certified as ethical, with tourists only allowed to observe the free-roaming animals from afar and feed them from a safe distance. However, this is not typical of many sanctuaries in Thailand and other countries across Asia, which allow tourists to get up close and personal with the elephants, use bull hooks to control them, and offer elephant rides. Elephants used in this kind of tourism are separated from their families, beaten, starved, and are forced to stand in the heat for long periods of time. Emmanuel isn't the only vegan from the Game of Thrones cast. Peter Dinklage plays Tyrion Lannister, and has been a vegetarian for years with a recent turn to veganism. The images that you're about to see might make you want to turn away, but this is what you pay for every time you buy meat, eggs, and dairy products. He's big and freakish strong, and quicker than you'd expect for a man of that size. His sidekick from the show, Braun, is played by Jerome Flynn, another ethical vegan who recently appeared in a video for PETA, explaining why he doesn't miss meat was always an animal lover, but we're not really educated to link the food on our plate to the animals that we love. Veganism suits me very well. I don't miss meat at all. International vegan cheese brand Violife launched its first television campaign, the first of its kind campaign for a vegan cheese brand, bringing humor to the dairy-free category. The advert's heroes learn how easy it is to ditch dairy, so effortless that they believe they can do other tasks like become an escape artist or run through walls. The campaign includes two television ads and additional recipes and tips for ditching dairy on social media. Its products, which include cheese slices, grated cheese, and cream cheese, are made with coconut oil and are free from nuts, soy, preservatives, and cholesterol. U.S. discount supermarket chain Trader Joe's release new vegan sunflower cups that taste just like Reese's peanut butter cups. The new vegan snack is made with fair trade chocolate and allergen-free sunflower seed butter. The new addition follows the success of the chain's dark chocolate peanut butter cups, similar to those made by Reese's. According to Trader Joe's, the peanut version is one of its best-selling products, but it wanted to release something for customers with allergies. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe and hit the red bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Vegan News.